looking at ratios, a ratio is a fraction where the top number is the part you have, the bottom number is out of the total possible in the general terms of a fraction. However, a ratio is sometimes a little special. It doesn't have to be compared to the total. The 3 out of 5 is a ratio of 3. The dot dot is read 2, 3 to 5. And this is the coffee drinkers out of the total. Okay, let's look at another way of writing that same thing. I could have also written 3, 2, 5, or I could put it into a fraction form of 3 fifths, and because I know that that fraction bar is a division, I could have also have written it 3 divided by 5. All of these are acceptable ways of writing a ratio. Now, on a ratio problem, careful, careful reading is really the clue to getting the correct answer. On this problem, in a quiz show, he got 16 questions right and two questions wrong. This question could be worded in six different ways. I could ask for the number right compared to the total, or I could have asked the total to the number right. I could have also have said, what is the number wrong to the total, or again, the total to the wrong, or I could have compared the right to the wrong, or the wrong to the right. What you have to do is read the question. If it says, what is the ratio of the right to the total, the right becomes the top of the fraction, the total is the bottom of the fraction. If I had said, what is the ratio of the wrong to the right, the wrong would be the top, the right would be the bottom. So looking at this, the right is 16, the total, oh, they didn't give you the total, but I know that the 16 and the 2 give me my total questions. And of course, since this is a fraction, you must always simplify as far as you can go. In this case, reducing by 2s gives me a ratio of 8 ninths. Okay, now the wrongs to the right, the wrongs go in the top because they're listed first. The rights go in the bottom, and of course, because it's a fraction, you must simplify to get a ratio of one-eighth.